Today we are going to be dealing with subtraction in other basis. So solution, let's deal with that. You have A here, you have B here, you have 4 here, you have 5 here. Do not forget it's subtraction. So let us work. B is 11 as usual, you know that. So 11 minus 5 would give us um, 6. 11 minus 5 is 6, so we have 6 here because 6 can exist in base, under base 12. So that does not have an issue. So 10 is here, that's A. 10 minus 4 is um, uh, 6. So 6 can also exist in base 12, so you can put it 6 as well. So which means, therefore, that AB is 12 minus 45 is 12 is equal to 6, 6 is 12. How do you work on this? You are asked to subtract this. How do you work on it? Now let us um, do something about this. You have 1, A, 3, then 5. You have to subtract F, 7, E from 8. How do we work on it? Now let us start. Remember, this is base 16. You are operating in base 16. 5 is smaller compared to E, which is 14. Uh, e is 14 so f is 5 is smaller than 14 so if you subtract 14 from 5 it will not work so what you do you borrow from here as usual the way you operate in your base 10 you borrow from here one but remember the one you borrow will be the value of the base so if you borrow one here you are borrowing that one as 16 don't forget that so if I borrow one here, if I put it in 5, it means I'm adding 5 to 16. That one I borrowed will assume the value of 16. So 16 plus 5 will give me 21. Don't, don't forget that. 16 plus 5 will give me 21. So 21 minus 14 now would give you 7. So we have 7 here. Then go to the next. If you come here now, since you have borrowed one, 2 is now remaining here. So you borrowed one, you borrow one from this 10. And that one you borrow again, we assume the value of 16. So 16 plus 2 will give you 18, which means you have to subtract 7 from 18. And subtract 7 from 18 will give you 11. So 11, B will be here. Then go to the next. Here remains 9. And F is 15. You can subtract uh, 15 from 9. So you borrow one from here. And that one assumes uh, 16, which is the value of the base. So 9 plus 16 will give you... 25 now remember this is 15 so 25 minus 15 now will give you 10 so 10 can be here which is a now therefore we can say that 1 a 35 base 16 minus f 7 is e base 16 is equal to a b 7 base 16 this is our answer How do we do this? So solution, as usual, we use the same method, 1, 0, 1, 1, and this is 2, 1, 2, this 3, this 3, we subtract. Now remember, you have to subtract 2 from 1, and subtracting 2 from 1 will not be possible, so you borrow 1 from here to this place. As usual, we are operating in base 3 here, so any number you borrow assumes 3. So 3 plus 1 will give us 4. 4 minus 2 now will give us 2 here. Then go to the next. Here becomes 0. So you can subtract 1 from 0. Alright? So the next thing you do, you come here. This is 0 already. You can borrow from there. So you come here, borrow 1. When you borrow 1, that 1 assumes 3. So you put the 3 here, making this place 3 now. From that 3, borrow 1 again, making it 3. So drop the 3 here. So here becomes 3. Remember it was 0 before. So it becomes 3 now. 3 minus 1 will give us 2. Now here becomes 2 now because you have dropped 3 there before and borrowed 1. So you have 2 here now remaining. 2 minus 2 gives us 0. And here nothing is left. So you have, therefore, 1, 0, 1, 1 is 3. Minus 2, 1, 2 is 3 is equal to 2, 2 is 3. Answer. So if you enjoyed the lesson, please do where to subscribe. And do not forget to call us. And uh, if you have any topic you need us to treat, just tell us and we'll treat it urgently for you. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.